Natsi site as proof of Fukushima radiation somehow. Uh, because Natsi has these hugely inflated numbers, so they just love that. They don't like the other ones that show readings that are realistic. They want to show the one that's just goofy. That's the way trolls are, Fuku, the Fuku trolls. The Fukun trolls. And because Fukushima radiation would never be shown by a Geiger counter anywhere in the world except right at the site. Period. Full stop, end of story. 20 times normal amount of radiation in schoolyards outside the evacuation zone. But in New York City, you can actually see it in the milk. You can actually see that iodine-131 actually spiked a little bit in our milk in New York City. Just even hearing that, though, I mean, even hearing that you can detect it, that there's a, a catastrophe that is wor the worst catastrophe, industrial catastrophe in history, that we can see it in milk in New York, that's frightening. You don't like that, but that's just the truth. In fact, I'll go on a limb, I'm not going on a limb because I can prove this, it, the Fukushima disaster wasn't even a disaster. No one's died. No increases in cancers. No dead or dying oceans. No high radiation readings anywhere in the world except inside three containment buildings in Japan. There was no nuclear disaster except to TEPCO because the entire world is basically not affected by Fukushima radiation. Forbid TV, he's the Pied Piper for the Fukushima deniers. Craig from Forbidden Knowledge says Fukushima is not a nuclear disaster. He's saying basically the entire world will not be affected from Fukushima. Forbid TV, he's a YouTuber and Forbid travels around the country. Craig sells Geiger counters out of his van. Now I'm not bashing Craig for being a salesman. Certainly seems like an honest living. Except for a few things. Craig made a disturbing video. Why Fukushima liars like to quote the NETC. Craig said the radiation can only be detected inside of the containment buildings at Fukushima. What containments, Craig? The containments are gone. Now the Geiger counters that Forbid TV sells are providing a false sense of security for Craig's customers. Especially one of the lower budget ones that he uses, the GMC. It's better than nothing, but... That's why he's going after this video is in his attempt to sell more of these Geiger counters saying, oh, oh, don't trust the NETC. And even though these readings come from a government regulated website, it's got to be fear porn. So, uh, yeah, Forbid TV was actually saying that NETC is Fukushima fear porn. And Craig was recently criticizing a Radnet station in Aurora, Illinois. I was investigating this station and I found it listed on the Environmental Protection Agency's website. Station ID 5531, Aurora, Illinois. Radnet Station, Aurora, Illinois. Right off the EPA website. Fear porn, gotta be EPA, of course. I didn't know the government's selling fear porn nowadays. So the Aurora readings from NETC is an EPA Radnet air data station. And Forbid TV is calling an official website of the United States government fear porn. The EPA has much more sophisticated equipment than what Forbid TV has. The NETC has an option to only use the EPA RADNET feature. Thus, you can avoid getting readings with cheap Geiger counters like the GMC that Craig sells. I'm on the EPA RADNET station now and can confirm all this. Now, I do see some issues using RADNET from the EPA. The data is distributed hourly, so if it's not real live time. If the EPA wanted to, they could turn off a station, turn it on, and they have an hour to manipulate the data. I'm not saying this is happening, but Organic Slant did find flat lines and certain segments of time were missing, and some of these segments could not be explained. That's why I do like the NTC feature of being able to use different sources to come to a conclusion. So if the EPA has a, a station down, I can click on APRS station, or I can click on the NTC network station, and I could draw conclusions from there. That's not fear porn, that's science. Now if you look at this EPA station in Aurora, look at all the nuclear reactors that are surrounding the Aurora station. You got Dresden nuclear power plant, Braidwood nuclear power plant, LaSalle County nuclear power plant, Cross Lake Michigan you got the Donald Cook nuclear power plant, Palisades nuclear power plant, Zion nuclear power plant. Byron nuclear power plant. This is right smack in the middle of a good 
eight nuclear reactors and there's probably a couple of them on site at each one so they're getting dosed and what I've noticed from these particular reactors in Illinois because Illinois leads the nation the amount of nuclear reactor waste that they have on site and also the amount of reactors they have and they also lead the nation in the amount of Fukushima reactors that they have like the Mach 1's that blew up in Fukushima this is some old technology very dangerous for those people in Chicago now the EPA last did an annual composite sample analysis from an air filter result back in 2016 they found uranium 234 at 20.9 uranium 235 0.97 and uranium 238 16.8 ACI m3 all these results trended higher than in previous years analyzed by gamma spectrometry next year Aurora is due for another air filter analysis for Bid TV he's just a Fukushima denier he's gonna deny 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 for Bid TV wants you to believe that Fukushima is safe for Bid TV put me on a list of his Fukushima fear trolls and I'm proud to be on such a Fukushima fear troll list. History can look back at the Fukushima fear list and see the people that tried to warn the world about nuclear power. Maybe one day, Forbid TV's great granddaughter will be looking back at his Fukushima videos. She will see how Forbid TV said nobody died from Fukushima. And she will roll her eyes when Craig says cancer rates were not increasing. She will likely have mutations herself. And she will wonder why her great granddaddy was such a fool to worship nuclear power definitely forbid TV keep me on that Fukushima fear troll list and if I end up being wrong nobody gets hurt if forbid TV is wrong ultimately forbid TV would have fiddled down his followers down to a pit of nuclear waste forbid TV the Pied Piper of Fukushima vowed to return later to take his revenge meanwhile the Millennials were distracted browsing PewDiePie videos the Pied Piper Fukushima pressed record on his camcorder out of his work van. Craig began playing his pipe and he attracted the gullible of YouTube. Craig tricked them into believing Fukushima was just a fairy tale. 15,000 fools followed Craig to Fukushima. Most of his subscribers were never seen again. A few hundred of his subscribers snapped out of it. They woke up from the Fukushima death cult's flute and then they stopped eating the Pacific fish. Legend has it, Forbid TV made his followers walk into the Fukushima reactors. Forbid TV promised them a big, beautiful swimming pool full of spent fuel. Join me for these intriguing and fascinating cases. Perhaps you may be able to help solve a mystery. In your face, trolls. Lesson learned. If you want to learn a lesson, the trolls don't. They just will continue to cite Netsy, which you can't, unless you take into account for the different type of sensing equipment they have. Netsy is not a reliable source for showing Fukushima radiation. None of those sites are suitable for showing Fukushima radiation, actually. None of them, because Fukushima radiation would never be shown by a Geiger counter anywhere in the world except right at the site. Period. Full stop. End of story. You don't like that, but that's just the truth. In fact, I'll go on a limb, I'm not going on a limb because I can prove this. It, the Fukushima disaster wasn't even a disaster. No one's died. No increases in cancers. No dead or dying oceans. No high radiation readings anywhere in the world, except inside three containment buildings in Japan. So there was no nuclear disaster because the entire world is basically not affected by Fukushima radiation. Questions remain unanswered. Despite the controversy, they consider the case closed. He believes the investigation should be reopened and the inconsistencies resolved once and for all. If you have any information, please call our toll-free number, 1-800-876-5353.
You're welcome to take this trip with me. Let's wake up a few people. Peace. Providing you with the knowledge to land yourself in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance. Click here. Subscribe.